Can I bring it to your own paper this morning? And I picked it up. And you, there was uh, Rhys McInerney in Dune Bag. Mm. And there was this slur that she was uh, speaking to. No, I hadn't seen it. The slurry slur. Exactly. Now, oh, first of slurry, all, yeah. can I congratulations on your restraint with the headline? Because it was just opened up for so many headlines that could have gone that way. But the slur was that she was um, pushing through the... Um, the, uh, oh the, the Greenway, the green, the green wasn't way, wasn't it? The Greenway, and was anti-slurry, so it was therefore anti-farmer. Now, you turn that on its head. What do farmers associate anti-slurry with? What do rural Ireland in general associate Greenway policies with? Who is that? Green Party. So, is the greatest slur that you can put on a can a sitting councillor who, by the way, is seconded, so she's going out cold this time is that the best slur so i think that's a clear indicator as to where green policy may be in elements of the county not all elements of the county because you will again have the urban elements i, I, I live green. among farmers there's no doubt that there is um a huge pushback to, i hate that word but it'll do mm. um against N not so much individual members of the Green Party, but against the whole idea, yeah. um, a resistance uh, to the need to change our way of life to combat climate change. There is, in theory, farmers, a lot of farmers, and they're not all big farmers, these are small farmers. In theory, they might agree with it, but when it comes to the nitty gritty, they're not prepared to go down that road, unless, perhaps, government comes out with a clear plan to compensate them and that they haven't got let's let's face it there's been no money on the table 